Hey, greetings, it's Daniel, and today I wanted to share with you um, my Bible collection, and I probably won't share with all of it, but just some of my favorite Bibles that I use. Um, these two right here are probably my primary Bibles, which this is a um, King James Bible. It's, this is my hand one. I love these little Bibles. Um, as you can see, I, I study. This is the one that pretty much goes wherever I go. Um, I just got this one because my other one was just getting fall apart. And then my second favorite Bible is, this is the um, Christian Standard Bible. Um, I also do a lot of studying in this Bible. Um, I just love the Christian Standard Version. Um, it's easy to understand. It's just really nice. Um, this is a bonded leather edition. It's just Christian Standard, like I said. Um, uh, let's see here. I have so many Bibles. Um, so I'm going to just kind of um, this is another one I used for a long time. This is a parallel Bible. It has the NIV and Message Bible. Um, bonded Leather is a study Bible. I really enjoyed it for a while, but it's very cumbersome, like I said. Um, so it's more of an at-home Bible. Um, this is one that I got when I... Um, it's a King James, just a plain old King James Bible. Um, nice leather back, has my name on it. Um... This is one from high school that's just falling apart. It's my King James Bible. I didn't highlight a whole lot in that one, but I do love the King James Bible. This is the Living Bible. I have a few of these. Um, I use this for devotionals. I don't use it much for study, but I really enjoy it for devotionals. Um, let's see here. I've got so many Bibles. Let me move these out of the way. Um, I'll bring over another stack. Okay. Um, this is another King James. I have a lot of King James. I probably shouldn't have bought all my King James over here, but... Um, this one I like is, um, a Rainbow Study Bible. Um, I actually bought this at, like, um, Goodwill, and it's just got a lot of little highlights in it, and everything means a different thing. It's all color-coded. I really, really enjoyed, um, just kind of reading it. It's the New International Version. This one, you can't read it because this one is probably the Bible that I use mostly when I was in the Pentecostal churches. It's a parallel study Bible, which I have backwards, I mean upside down. It has the King James on one side and the Amplified on the other side. I love the Amplified version. Um, but this Bible has been studied up, fallen apart. I love it. Um, don't use these it, too much anymore. Though I don't attend a Pentecostal church, but it was really nice at the time. Let's see. Um, this is a NIV Bible that I was given by um, for graduation when I graduated high school. Almost never used it, I don't think. Um, this is another Living Bible, a leather-bound edition. Um, I just picked this up at Goodwill because I like the Living Bible for devotionals, but don't really use it. This one I was given in junior high. has my name on it. I used it for a little bit. It's in horrible condition, but... Um, I love this one too. This is just the um, the NIV. It's just a little thin line. I used to carry this with me, but I, again, I like the smaller Bibles, which I'm going to get to as soon as I get to my stack. You know, let's see how. Sorry, I have tons. Um, this is my Catholic Bible, New American Bible. Um, I actually really enjoy Catholic Bibles, um, so I do use those a lot. Um, this is a journaling Bible. I thought I would use this one more. It's um the We've new revised standard version, but I just really couldn't get into it a whole lot because I didn't like the version and the paper was so thin for this journaling Bible. I thought it'd be a little thicker. Um, this one belonged um, to an uncle or so forth who passed away. It's just a living Bible paraphrase and it's in really bad shape, but I keep it. Let's see. Now we're going to get into my favorite Bibles, which are, which are these miniature Bibles. I love little bitty handheld. Bibles, and I have so many of them, because <laughs> I like to be able to carry them with me, so I have a lot of different ones. This is my New World Translation. This is the old version of the New World Translation, which I have the more updated one, um, so I use that for reference sometimes. Um, this is my little Amplified Bible. I really like this. I love the Amplified Bible. I've not used it a whole lot, but I use it for reference. Um... This is my New King James. Um, this one I have studied up. I used this one for a few years. This one just went everywhere with me. Um, but I really like... Even though it's New King James and King James are probably my favorite versions. 
This is another one that I used for a long time, which is the Catholic edition of the Revised Standard Version. It's really nice. Um, I I still use that one quite a bit. This is the Bible that I had for the most, I mean, through high school, uh, through everything, and it is just falling apart. I mean, I keep gl I kept gluing the pages. I took um, washi tape and tried to tape pages back in, duct tape the cover. I finally retired it. Um, this is the Holman Christian Bible. It's silver. I really enjoy it. Oh, say hello to Luna. Hi, Luna. Uh, let's see here. So that's that. Um, this is just a little King James that I never really liked. That someone had given to me for my birthday that has my initials on it. But, I mean, I use it every once in a while. A Message Bible. Again, I love the Message for devotionals. And I've used that one up. It's got my name on it. This is the King James someone gave me, and I liked it, but it's just so, the prints, I like the small Bibles, but this one is, the, the print is just super small, but I love the Celtic cross on it. Um, this is a King James one that I used for a little bit, but again, the bindings, which you can't see, I glued it back and started falling apart, because um, I just used it so much. Um, this is, let's see, this is a New Living Translation, also used this one for a while. Um, I like the New Living Translation for reference. This is just one of these little bitty, I don't even know where I got this, this little New Testament. Probably, I have some more of these somewhere. Now this, <laughs> I had this old journal that had this cover on it, and I didn't like the cover that was on this Bible, so I literally glued it, but this is actually <laughs> a Jehovah Witness Bible, the new version. Um, they would probably die if they saw it, but I just thought it was funny. To put, you know, a Buddhist symbol on a Bible. I liked it. Um, I actually use this Bible sometimes for reference, but um, not a whole lot. Okay, so now I've got done with my more mainstream Protestant and Catholic Bibles. I'm going to share with you my LDS um, scriptures, LDS and Community of Christ scriptures, which let me move some of these out of my way. And I have a ton of them because, as most of you know, I comes from come from an LDS background. Um, I was Briefly, a member of the Community of Christ, which is um, which is a different denomination of the Restoration Movement, sometimes called Mormonism. So I have editions, quite a bit of different editions from them. Um, this one I've had since high school. This is an LDS edition, and it's just a little pocket-sized edition. I, this, I, this Bible has been loved, let me tell you. It's not really a Bible, but it's a quad. I have a lot of quads. It's been loved. Um, I have used it a lot. Um... This is an edition of the Book of Mormon called the Restored Covenant Edition. It's not put out by the Mormon Church, but an independent thing, and it's supposed to go into, like, you know, exactly from the printer's manuscript. Oops, excuse me. My Bibles are falling. Uh, let's see. This is the Holy Scriptures. This is the inspired version that was put together by Joseph Smith, and it's published by the Community of Christ. I don't use it a whole lot, but... And then these, of course, are my Community of Christ, Doctrine and Covenants. And Book of Mormon, because um, the Community of Christ has different verses and chapters in those scriptures than the normal one. Um, this is my three in one from the Community of Christ, which has a cover on it, and it just has the three books used by the Community of Christ, which is the inspired version, the Book of Mormon, and, the and their version of the Doctrine and Covenants. All the rest are LDS, I believe, and they're from different ones. Like these are my separates, as they call them, which means I have the King James Bible in one. And then the other three, was called a triple, the Book of Mormon, Doctrine, Covenants, and other. My brother bought me these. I've not ever really used them a whole lot. They're nice, but I don't use them now. This one I bought a few years ago. Um, and I, the quality was really bad. Because it's the bonded leather, even though it looks new. But the pages begin to fall out, and I used it for a long time. And if you can tell, I've highlighted stuff in it. Um, and so my boyfriend bought me this one, which is a snap clap quad, genuine leather, this year for Christmas. And I, I do actually love this one and I use it quite a bit. And of course, this is my original quad, which I still use to this day. It's got highlights. I've had this Bible since I was like, got baptized in the, I mean, so a long time is almost as old as I am. <laughs> and I just, it, and they just love it. Um, it's faded. I still use this for reference almost every day. Um, why I don't use LDS scriptures so much anymore, but I love the reference in the King James Bible. Um, 
I have no problem with the Book of Mormon Doctrine and Covenants. They just don't figure a humongous part in my spiritual path anymore. I tend to stick with the Bible these days, although I find inspiration in them all. So that's some of my Bible collection. I have tons and tons more somewhere, but these are the ones that I reference most often. Many blessings.